Um, this is Yaga Master again with another quick video. Um, this time I want to do a, a pretty uh, interesting comparison between two Windows 10 entry tablets. We got the uh, New Vision uh, Solo Draw 10 uh, versus the Sony Vio uh, Z Canvas. So these two guys are both using the entry uh, dash uh, MPP Microsoft uh, Pen Protocol um, digitizers. So you can use one pen. In this case, I have the uh, Wacom Bamboo Ink Smart uh, across both uh, devices. Uh, but the comparison between the two gets pretty wacky. Um, uh, so as you can see here, the the, the new vision came out this year, uh, early earlier this year, uh, and it's got a, a X5Z 8300, 8350 Atom processor with two gigs of RAM, 32 gigabyte of eMMC, uh, and its uh, normal price is 250, but then I got it for 89 bucks on sale at Microsoft Store. Uh, which is still going on uh, as of this video. Uh, this processor gets around 1,000 uh, points on Passmark, uh, so it's it's one of the slower processors you can get right now. On the other hand, the Vio Z Canvas, uh, which came out in 2015, uh, is using uh, a 4770HQ Core i7 processor, which is quad core. Uh, same as Atom is quad core, but I mean the two processors can't be uh, more different uh, in power envelope, right? Uh, also, this machine is uh, equipped with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte PCIe SSD. So it's uh, you know we're talking about over a thousand um, uh, megabytes per second uh, read and write, well over. Uh, this is a machine that originally launched at uh, three thousand ninety nine dollars, but uh, I got it for fifteen hundred. At a crazy Microsoft uh, store sale back in 2015, uh, the biggest bargain probably I ever uh, purchased. Um, and on Passmark, it gets around 9,000 points, which is still about the same as the latest generation uh, uh, seventh gen uh, Core i7 with quad core uh, gets. So, which is pretty impressive. So, uh, the question I guess uh, sort of you have to ask is how different is the pen experience? Is, is the processing power uh, makes this thing totally unusable? I kind of answered that question already earlier in another video, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can do a drawing spanning both devices with the same pen and you know, uh, keeping things tailored for each. Uh, device as far as canvas size wise, you know, you're gonna have a lot smaller canvas here uh, versus here, you know, you're gonna go 5,000, 3,000, this is gonna be uh, 2200 by 1700 or so. Uh, and the brush size is gonna be different, but the overall experience might be uh, not that far, so let's try that out. Okay, let's see if I can do this without the keyboard shortcuts. Um, so let's uh, draw something that I can draw pretty easily without um, too much trouble, which is like um, sort of fantasy version of dinosaurs, right? Mm, this years of um, drawing. Um, Jurassic World toys and Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park toys uh, comes in handy for drawing dinosaurs. Again, this is going to be you know quick, rough sketch, but the speed of it sort of um, you know is important to sort of show. How much lag is uh, uh, going to be involved in 
using uh, something like the uh, Solo 10, Solo Draw 10, right? So far, it's, it's, it feels pretty good, especially because I'm using a premium pen here, not the uh, uh, pack and pen that has, you know, some issues. It's, it's not deal breaking kind of issues, but enough that, um, you know, it's uh, noticeable. So, and, um, Okay, let's see if that, there you go. I can't get too close to the edge or it won't start registering. So, there you go. Maybe I should go like that. Yeah, that's probably a better idea instead of trying to go from the edge. Let's uh, go like that. Hopefully I didn't shake the camera too much. And then we can... Uh, Canvas over. And there you go. And just bring that up. Okay, there you go. So, you know, as far as the sort of the pen experience goes, it's mostly about the pen, right? I mean, as long as the digitizer board is uh, very similar, and and in this case. They're both MPP uh, Intrig uh, digitizer boards. I I'm sure the Sony one is, uh, keep calling it Sony, uh, the VAIO uh, digitizer is a better quality and higher density. But the way I draw, which is, you know, uh, quick strokes, right? I'm, I'm uh, not sort of, uh, Allowing the um, the digitizers uh, any kind of uh, shortcomings as far as uh, um, the uh, the resolution uh, of the grid to affect the outcome too much, right? So let me see if I can get. Uh, So, you know, um, I'll skip him some. Uh, so, if, if, to me, um, it's really about getting a good pen. Uh, the Wacom Bamboo uh, Ink Smart is definitely uh, one of those good, great pens, and and then making sure that you uh, keep in mind the. So the power envelope of the the tablet you're using, uh, so you don't uh, overtax the CPU. So you know here we have a very slow atom processor, which means you, you're gonna have to make sure that you don't uh, get the canvas size too big, um, and that will cause you to slow down in places that um, you know will uh, make things annoying so as long as you do that I think the experience is uh, pretty similar right oops uh, I moved it and I screwed it okay so something like that okay all right, so you know, hopefully this sort of demonstrates that you know we got two very uh, different level of power, uh, but same digitizer technology, um, uh, and using the same pen, you can get broadly similar results uh, as long as you don't go uh, beyond the uh, power envelope of the tablet uh, itself. So. Uh, I, I'm 
more and more, you know, it, obviously it's, it's, it's sort of crazy to use a $70 pen on a $90 tablet, but maybe, you know, maybe it's not so crazy because the, 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 the results you get is pretty noticeable versus the, the stock pen that comes with it. So, given a great pen, the experience is great. So, if you can buy like a used uh, current gen uh, Surface Pro 4 pen or, or, or the new Surface pen, uh, that's probably overkill, a hundred bucks. But, you know, if you do that, the, the pen experience should be very, very, very nice, right? And, you know, in this case, you know, in a similar way, it's keeping up with this uh, uh, tablet that's like 10 times more expensive and powerful, right? So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, as long as the quality, the construction quality and the, the reliability holds out on the new vision, I, I'm going to recommend it. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm going to give the caveat of, you know, it, it, it's cheap, so it might break. But w until it breaks, or, you know, if it breaks, you know, that's what it, it is what it is. But until it breaks, it's, it's a pretty nice little tablet to do art with, you know. It's, it's plenty fast, responsive, especially with the right hardware uh, paired with it. And, um, yeah, it's a... It's a one of those surprising experiences uh, for me. Uh, I really didn't expect this $90 purchase to be uh, decent. So far it is. So it's only day three, but you know, it is still pretty impressive. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys that. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.